All right, my friends, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I'm going to show you guys my settings and how I set things up for my AMD GPU. So this is on the 7900 XT, um, and we're going to start here with the um, AMD Radeon software. Let me get over here and just make this thing just a little bit bigger so that you guys can actually see what's going on. Now, um, obviously, I'm using my widescreen for this, so you guys can see this. So the very first thing you're going to go into is going to be gaming. I, I usually go right into gaming. I go ahead and flip on the Hyper RX. Um, that just turns like all of this stuff on for you. It's it's really simple. You just turn it on, and then you just kind of forget it. You just set it and forget it. Um, sometimes you might need to get back into a game while you're playing, and uh, if you're not getting a good overall experience with fluid motion frames, just go ahead and turn that off. You don't necessarily need it. I actually do turn this off pretty often because I do a lot of recording and stuff like that. Um, and, but when, when it's on and I forget about it and I'm just in a game playing it, it really normally does not matter that much. Um, for me, I do a lot of the stuff in the record and stream category. So I'm usually like recording videos or doing something like that. Um, <clears throat> If you need to do that, you go over here into the settings tab underneath that, come down here, just set up all your information or all your stuff here. Video, uh, uh, my video bit, bit rate for recording. Um, I got that set at 100 right now. Um, that there gives me like really good freaking quality video over here in the bit rate. I got that set at, you know, for live streaming at 50, 50 bits, 128 for both, uh, well, for my for my audio and then one right here is 192 um then you set where you're gonna have it go into your capture device for you know your audio or whatever and then your um your camera or whatever if you want to have a camera over here in the scene editor uh while you're recording your videos um over here into smart technology i turn on the noise suppression that's on right now it's actually pretty it's actually active and then performance for tuning um, every now and then I play around with this. You can get in here. You can set some of this stuff up. You can just do like an auto undervolt, auto overclock GPU, um, overclock your VRAM, uh, some of this stuff. If you want to play around with that stuff, you don't need to do that. You can auto overclock your CPU or you can jump right into Ryzen Master right here and, and like dig deeper into that. I don't normally play around with the CPU too much because as you can see, I'm rocking the 7800X3D, so those aren't really that great at overclocking, so you probably won't need to use that. Um, <clears throat> uh, over here into the settings tab, uh, this is another one that I normally get into and display. So this is going to be for everybody that likes to utilize or use, um, you know, like your HDR or any of that kind of stuff. Um, as you can see, I set my saturation to 150. Normally, it's right here at 100, but I like to have mine set at 150 because I feel like that gives me a better saturation of colors. If you go over here to pixel format, um, I have mine set to uh, the RGB 444 pixel format standard RGB. That's the full RGB. Um, you don't need to do anything with this one right here, but it will tell you, you know, I mean, like the display color enhancement and stuff. Um, I don't normally do anything with that because that there's just, you know, you, you just switch these on and, and it does that. I like to have a little bit more fine control over mine. So I do this. Um, the way to get into here is normally it will be like this. It will it will just look over here on custom color. You just go ahead and flip that on. I usually set mine right to 150. That there usually looks the best. You can play around with your contrast. I have done that a little bit, but then I kind of feel like with HDR content, that starts to crush your blacks a little bit. Uh, when, when you're trying to use that, obviously you can change your color temperature. You can do all of that stuff, however, however you would like to. Um, so that there's basically everything in the AMD software. So now we are gonna minimize this bad boy and we're gonna go right into the Windows um, it's right here, Windows HDR calibration. You will have to get this app in the in the App Store. Um, go ahead and download that. Uh, once you got that downloaded, it should be a screen like this. Actually, it'll probably be a screen about this big once you freaking get in there. Um, it'll just be nice and small. Go ahead and make that big. 
because that's what you're going to be using for this process. So we're going to go ahead and get started because I just put the 7900 XT back in there. So now we need to recalibrate. Um, I usually click on it right here and then use my arrow keys because that there gives you a little bit finer control. And is what you want those to do is to turn black with the rest of the screen on. And you need to do this on every single screen that you are calibrating. So as you can see, mine is about, I think mine literally just disappeared. Right there. So zero minus zero dot zero three hundred. So that's pretty pretty freaking dark. I can't I can't see it now. Um, obviously, you can still see it over here. So if I just take it all the way, then it's gone. Obviously, but mine was zero three zero zero. So right there is about where where mine is. Yeah, I can't see it. So you'll want to do this on every single screen that you have. Um, then you're going to switch over here. Obviously, you're going to want this these boxes to be nice and white. Mine tops out at right here at 580 on this monitor. Um, as you can see, I have to keep going for this box over here to completely disappear on this on on the TV one. And that's about right there ish so about 580 for this one right here yes you do and, and and you do have to calibrate this for every every one of your screens it's just until that that window goes away which is one two three and it's gone so now we're going to go to next and then we're going to do the same thing right here and it's about 570, 580 for this one as well. So um, obviously if I go clear over here, it gets rid of that one too. But we're only at about 580 on this one. So right there. Next. Um, then you're going to do your color saturation. I'd probably just put that right at wherever wherever you feel. I don't really, I don't really feel like this one here does a whole lot for me to be completely honest with you. So probably right around 50 on that one. Then you just go ahead and hit next. Over here, you could see like this one. See, you can't, you can't really see too well on this one right here. Before calibration, after calibration. Okay, so. Color profile. So there we go. That there is how you, those are my settings. Those are the settings I use on the AMD. Um, that there's how I calibrate my HDR on this. Um, yes, you can get into other games and stuff and you can recalibrate that way too. But I found this to actually be fairly sufficient for the, for the bright and the darkness. Um, and then for the better, for the rest of the HDR, um, obviously that's how I get my HDR from, let me see if I can uh, pull up this, pull up this video game. I'll let you guys look at a little bit of, a little bit of this after calibration. Should have my camera doing all of this, but we'll do this right here. Uh, settings. We got HDR on. <clears throat> We'll go ahead and play some of this for a second. See if we can, I don't know if I'll be able to capture the HDR on here, but. Whoop, better turn that down a wee bit. Okay, continue. I love how it. I love how it's like bringing up like a, like a wide screen over there. That's that's pretty cool. I'm not even gonna lie. I like that. That's freaking. That's pretty awesome. Sorry guys, it's gonna about to build these shaders. So those are my settings. Somebody in the comments section asked me to do that for them. I was like, yeah, man, I definitely do that for you. And 
Um, I've been thinking about it like all day because I was going to keep the 4080 Super in there for a while longer. But man, I miss being on my AMD card. I, I like the way this makes my HDR look. It, to me, it looks significantly better. I feel like I just get much better color density in my in my overall image quality. Now I tried, I did, I, I came home today and I was trying the digital vibrance. I was playing around with that on this same game right here. And I'm playing around with it and I'm trying to get it to, uh, I'm trying to get it to look like, like dense and fuller like it does on the AMD cards. Cause on the AMD cards, it just looks freaking phenomenal. Like it, it just does. Like I kind of feel like with the digital vibrance, it kind of just, I, I don't, I don't know. It looks, it makes the colors look a little bit, a little bit weird, but this here just kind of gives it that like impactful um, look. It's, it's hard to describe. I wish I could show you guys like in, in real life. Eventually I'm going to get that new camera and then I think we should probably be able to get, because this camera only does like 8-bit color, that, that camera does 10-bit, so I think I'll be able to show you a lot better with that camera, what I'm talking about, but you have to wait until I pay off my other stuff first. Which is, yeah. Which is, yeah. Dude, I can't believe. I hope you guys like the purple light. Okay, come on, shaders. <laughs> shaders. Ah. Yeah, this just looks freaking so much. Better. My mind and my eyes, this just looks a lot more not necessarily saturated. The colors just look the colors just look better. When you get over here to like the these trees and stuff. Like the greens look better. The shadow looks better. I just I love the way this looks. Looks very, very nice, especially on the OLED. So, all right, my friends, if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. We've got to alt tab that to get out of there. So, if you guys have any more questions, if well, if you have any more questions, just let me know, and uh, I'll see if I can't make another video for you. And we'll see you guys in the next one.